I'm Alex Pink. I'm, a, I'm the vice president of the Cal Poly Super Mileage team. And we're an engineering club from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Every year we build a completely custom built, uh, custom designed, custom built prototype vehicle optimized for fuel efficiency. So our car, basically we take an engine out of a scooter, build a car completely out of carbon fiber, put the engine in and our driver lays down in the car and drives a unique part of our car is that we do something called the burn and coast method. So we don't run our engine with a throttle. So as soon as the engine turns on, it's at full speed or full blast rather. And we burn up until we get to our top speed that we desire. And then we cut the engine off and coast it out. And the reason for doing that <clears throat> is because it actually ends up being more fuel efficient if you do that kind of method. And so we're out here at this test track in order to determine some of the characteristics of that burn and coast method that we I just talked about. So we're trying to determine like rolling resistance of the car, which is how long the car is going to take to uh, reach from its max speed until its low speed. The reason for doing that is that that way we can perform different uh, tests on the vehicle uh, and change other parameters in it. So that way we can say, hey, if this is more efficient or not. Another thing that we're testing here is what top speed should we be going at and what what's our low speed should we start burning at again. And uh, yeah, this test track is is phenomenal. It's about a mile long, and generally our, in our competition that we go to every year, the track is about a mile long. Every year we compete in the uh, Shell Eco Marathon. It's an annual event of similar cars like ours. From It's a worldwide competition, but our competition is based in the Americas. So it's teams from Canada, US, Mexico, and some also some South American teams like Brazil. And this year in the past, and last year, it occurred in Detroit, although in previous years it's been uh, in other places such as Houston. We go around a track in, the, in Detroit, and it's about a mile long or so through the street, streets of downtown Detroit. And what we have to do is, is we have to get around that track in a full amount, of, in a certain amount of time. So we can't just go really, really slow. We have to get to a certain minimum speed. Then they measure how much fuel we use after that and extrapolate what our fuel mileage would be. And this test track is perfect because it's about the size of each lap that we do. And so it really allows us to get in and be like, okay, here's how our car would be like at competition.